All right, guys, just as a little warning, I am a little bit harsh on the person that I criticize. This is a review on here. And I know him personally, which is, like, not really the Scott that most people see. But I'm more harsh on the review than him in general. Like, I like him as a person. <laughs> Believe it or not, we are friends. Um, So, just uh, if you're watching this man or if anyone knows who it is, just, like, don't take it as, like, I'm mad at the person. I'm just more mad at the review, if anything. I have all res nothing but respect for this this man. <laughs> Hey guys, so real quickly, I know that there's a little buzzing sound throughout the video that you'll notice in the audio. I apologize for that. I know that it's not that much, but you can definitely notice it if you listen carefully. But well, I'm sorry for that, guys. Um, with that being said, just enjoy the video. Thank you. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's SoCal Exploring back with another video. And today I'm doing something that I nor don't normally do, which is a movie review. Now, uh, recently I just saw, I just got back from watching Halloween uh, 2018. It, I literally just like came back home from the theaters and I'm blown away by this and I'm going to break down why I think this movie is so good um, and just break down everything about the movie. This is a no spoiler movie or no spoiler movie. This is a no spoiler video and by no spoiler video I mean like maybe a teeny tiny talks about the movie but no like big big spoilers if that makes any sense whatsoever. But don't worry, I'm not going to give away any like big scenes or anything like that or any um, plot twists um, in this review. So if you would like to know my opinion about Halloween, the new movie that just came out and know everything about it. I'm also going to be talking about critics is a critics point of view from this movie because I've been seeing a lot of criticism about this movie, about this remake. And I, uh, I don't I don't agree with them uh, I, I don't I don't agree with them at all actually so I'm gonna break down um, one in specific review and I, I think that should be talked about and I'm gonna debunk it and just basically talk all about the movie so stay tuned let's hop right into my Halloween 2018 movie review so I'm gonna blur this person's name out only because I'm just not like that like I am gonna talk about his review but I'm just not the person to be like oh go hit on this person I'm just not that type of person so i'm going to read a long instagram review that uh that really triggered me and took me off a lot because there's a lot of information in here that is just completely stupid in my opinion and i'm just gonna break it down and, and talk about it and then we'll get into what i think about the movie so um if you haven't watched any of the previous Halloween films actually you should have watched like all of them if you want to go watch this movie I don't see why there's a reason for you to go watch this movie if you haven't seen any of the Halloween films of that matter and it just kind of pisses me off with fake Halloween fans that go to do that and then yeah okay let's 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 get into this um so I'm gonna read this it's gonna show on the screen <clears throat> It's time to talk about my most anticipated movie of the year, and let me just say, I hated it. Well, you're the only one, buddy. No spoilers, but this is a poor movie that never finds its footing. What? What? Great scenes are ruined by terribly placed humor and awful direction. Jamie Lee Curtis gives it her all in this, but the movie never lets her shine. The movie literally is based all around Jamie Lee Curtis. We see her from the very beginning of the film to the very end. There's, oh goodness gracious. Her fight with Michael begins with a little less than 20 minutes left in the movie's runtime. Throughout the rest of the movie, we are introduced to storylines and people we do not care about and are left to watch people live out their lives on what could be any night of the year. Um. So, storylines, uh, there's, there's a scene that, uh, you guys have seen it in the trailer when the girl closes the closet door and won't close all the way and that's because Michael's behind it. So, there's, uh, these two characters, as we saw in the very first Halloween film, and they're all about, without, like, giving any spoilers, they're about, like, oh, there's nobody gonna be home, let's, let's do some crazy shit and let's have sex and let's do let's do drugs and stuff like that same basis as the first halloween movie that they that they reference in this one right and then michael comes in and uh spoiler alert michael comes in and kills them both 
Also, spoiler alert, one of them is hanging on the wall. Um, and uh, it just, it really pisses me off hearing that thing because it's a storyline that nobody cared about. They literally had the same storyline in the first Halloween movie. Like, they had the whole, oh, let's let's have fun while nobody's home and then Michael's going to come in and kill us. And, and one's on the wall like the first Halloween movie. That's... That that line in specific really pissed me off because it's it's a complete reference to the first movie, like it's it's just it's stupid because obviously people don't look into the fact that there's references in the movie and they don't look into the real fact of okay maybe this is cool and maybe this is something that makes sense to put in this movie. It just it's like really like it's. Just, just think back to it. Watch Halloween one if, if you're genuinely that confused about it. It does not even feel like it is Halloween. <laughs> the atmosphere and tension are incredibly lacking and Michael, the menacing murderer, loses everything that made him scary and brutal deaths that feel like they're out of a Friday the 13th film. Okay, so all of a sudden Michael Myers starts being more violent and he starts to become less scary. Um, makes no sense, but okay, I guess. I would give this movie a D plus. The first scene and the last 29 minutes are pretty cool, and there are some good things sprinkled in there, like the score, but overall, this movie is a waste of time, and you should stay home watching Halloween 20 years later, a film with the same plot that does a better job at conveying the same story. Side note, Universal, stop making characters make dumb and stupid decisions in the third act. It made no sense and was stupid. It played no part in telling the story. If you have seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to give any spoilers away about the third act or anything, but I just... Any real reasoning on why he gave the film a D plus? Yeah, that's right. You heard it and you read it well. A D plus. I think that the lowest that a critic could give it is a, a B plus or maybe a B on this movie. In complete honesty, that's the lowest I can give it. Um, if I was a critic, but a D plus? Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Like, like, sit there and think to yourself: Was I over my head when I gave this a D plus? I don't know if you just never watched all the Halloween films, but you obviously don't get any of the references in the films at at all. But that's all I'm saying about that review. Um, now let's hop right into my more positive review on Halloween 2018 because. This was just, I just needed to get this off my chest. And I've, been, I've been going off about it on social media and this was just too much for me, you know? So let's, uh, let's talk about my review and what I thought about Halloween 2018. So guys, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis is a certified badass. She is, she is just a, a freaking queen in, in the horror franchise. She is great. She is such a great actor and she still got it. She still got that passion and that fire in this movie. And it's, I just love seeing that from such a great actress. And, and it's just, it's so cool to see in this, in this movie. And, uh, the whole, I'd say the whole story around this, this film is fantastic. Uh, it shows in the suspense guys, the suspense is so great. The suspense really gets you on the edge of your seat, and it is kind of scary at some points. Don't go into the movie, because I know that there's some um, people that are going just to see this, and they've never seen any of the Halloween films at all, and they're going in like, oh, let's just go watch this horror movie, even though we don't know what it is. We know it's Michael Myers, but uh, it's, uh, it's, not, it's not meant to scare you to death. It's more of a suspenseful movie, so if you're one of those people that's never seen any of the Halloween films, like everyone in the theater with me, there was like two real fans that... I could see all decked out in Michael Myers merch, um, and it was it was just it was cool to see that because all the rest of the people are like, oh no, don't kill them! Oh my God, they they made this joke. Let's laugh at it. That's so funny and blah 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 blah. That's one thing that I'm gonna talk about right now is the, they threw they uh, they do throw comedy into this movie, which is cool, and I don't think it was overdone at all. I think it added a lot to the film, and I really do actually enjoy it. And I thought it was cool. Uh, the modern comedy and just the modern feel to it, I thought it was cool. Um, I, I obviously do love, love all the past Halloween films and how they're just like the older version. And I, I do love those films. But seeing it more modern was actually pretty cool. And I did enjoy that a lot. 
uh, the, the whole plot of it and the whole build up to Michael coming back is, is fantastic. All the actors, the whole cast is, is fantastic in it. And wow, look at this little moth that's fine that just flew in my lens. But yeah, the whole cast was great. The, um, the cinematography was great. I just, there's really nothing that I could, I could say bad about this movie other than just, I, I guess a, a, a few corny jokes. I don't know. We're just maybe there was one scene that needed to be taken out, but that's I, I genuinely can't see anything wrong with this movie. There's there's really nothing that hits me that's like okay, this movie is bad. Um, with Jigsaw, the 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 uh, the remake, it was there was a lot of things in the movie that I can be like okay, that was bad. They, this movie isn't all that great, and I could give it like a C. Um, with Halloween, this movie was absolutely fantastic. I I was so happy watching this movie, and I can genuinely say that I loved every single second of it. But it just sucks when you have people that don't know about the Halloween series before that just kind of ruin it for you, and just critics that are their opinions are everyone's entitled to their opinion. Um, but the opinions on this movie, the critics' opinions on this movie, are, are most of them are complete garbage. I'm I'm sorry, but they are, and it's just. It makes no sense, you know. I see a lot of movies and I see a lot of horror movies, and I could say like which ones are bad and which ones are good. But this one, it was nowhere close to bad. There's nothing wrong with it at all. It's it was played out very perfectly, and just for critics to be hating on it is just so stupid and and makes no sense at all. In my in my all honesty, and usually I'm very honest about these movies, so. That's what I have to say without going into too many spoilers. There are some great scenes and some great references in this movie, and I definitely think that you should check it out. And if you have not seen any of the Halloween movies, I definitely recommend that you watch all of them, if not a couple of them, just so you get those references, because um, you can't go into this movie and really make those connections if you haven't seen any of the movies before. But that's all I had to say about it. Um, as far as critics go, you can have your own opinion. You can have your own criticism on the movie. At the end of the day, the movie was good. And the majority of fans know that. So it really makes no difference what the critics say. It's just they hear their opinions are... <laughs> but thank you guys for watching this video. If you made it to the end, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe down below. If you are new here, hello, my name is Scott from SoCal Exploring. I do theme park videos haunt videos, horror videos, all that good stuff. This is new to me doing movie reviews. So let me down in the comment section if you think I should do more movie reviews because I had fun making this. I mean, it was kind of fun. I, I like the style of introducing a critic's opinion in the beginning and either agreeing with it or disagreeing it and then going on to my review on the actual movie. So if you want to see more movie reviews, comment down below because this one was definitely fun. And uh, yeah, that's that's about it. I mean, like... Uh, if you are subscribed, turn on those post notifications so you can be notified when I upload a new video and be the first to interact with it. Comment down below what you thought of the new Halloween film. Make sure to follow everyone on the SoCal Exploring team, Becky and Katie, trying to help me build this brand called SoCal Exploring. And most importantly, positivity is key, guys. Don't let those negative barriers in life get in your way. With that being said, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember to keep exploring. Peace.